Okay, hey guys, this is gonna be a movie on the computer. In addition to the upgrade my PC movie, I wanna buy Windows 10, but buy Windows 10 at 199.99? That sounds a little bit steep. So I went down and check for cheaper versions or options. So I went to a local store and we went to 159.90 euros. Is this euros? No, this is dollars. So this is around 180 80 and a little bit euros. So but 160 is already better. So we digged in deeper. So we went to a site which compare prices and we went to 157 euros. That's a little bit more in dollars. So 157. But then I thought you can buy very cheap keys for games or at least a lot more cheap than the official prices of Steam or whatever. So I went on those sites and if you if you go to all key shop, which is a site where I bought a lot of keys already, if you type in Windows 10, oh, I want the professional, then we can see that we have a version of 8.19 euros 8.19 euros yeah i would trade that any day i was not convinced yet the problem not really a problem but how official can you be because now you're buying an oem an original equipment manufacturer key and that's dedicated to one machine so once you install it on that machine, it should stay on that machine. Because when you buy this one, that's a retail version. But here you can actually buy standard versions. So I think maybe these are retail versions. So I went to another site where I also bought a couple of game keys from King Queen, King Queen. And I typed in Windows 10 Professional. And there the prices started from $25.99. It also mentioned OEM keys, but at that price, so that's a little bit weird. These are competitors from each other, so they should have competitive prices. King Wing? Oh, that is King Wing. That's a 25.21. Yeah, but they give a discount. So 25.99. And that is exactly the price King Wing is providing those keys. So that's a little bit strange all. I'm gonna risk it. What can we lose? 8 euros. Let's, let's buy it. You can pay with PayPal so you can get your money back. So I don't see much of a problem. Let's type in the credentials. Let's try to purchase. Oh, it's, it's going to G2A. This is paid. Continue to their website. So purchase confirmation account, Windows 10 professional. After we have done that, let's go download Windows 10. So Windows 10. And then we need to download the download tool. We open this. We select OK. Getting a few things ready. OK. Then you, of course, uh, read the 16,000 million pages and then the privacy statement because this is only uh, short of this. Let's accept. <laughs> Who reads those things? Who writes those things? Getting a few things ready. Upgrade this PC now. Create installation, media, USB flash drive. That's what I'm gonna do. I want English from the States, Windows 10, the 64. So I don't really need to change. You can do that here. Change the language. And of course, if you want the 32 bits, which is obsolete, they're gonna stop making 32 bits. Finally. Next, let's go to the USB flash drive. I just updated my BIOS. So I called my 
flash drive BIOS that's gonna change when we write this ISO. Now we wait. It is downloading, I guess. Yes, it's downloading at 80 megabits. Yeah, and then uploading something. Let's pause this for a sec. It's downloading at 86, almost 90 megabits. Okay, finally. This was quite some time. I think it's N. Oh, it's already ready. Oh, it, that's why it took a while. It wrote 3.5 gigabytes to the as a, to the USB drive. So okay, okay, okay. Finish. I'm ready to install Windows from this USB drive. So this site worked. We could, we have bought from this site which was linked through this site so now we're gonna install the windows 10 i don't have an hdmi capture card so it's gonna be just the screen capturing from a camera that's pointed to the screen it's not really screen capturing but yeah it's the old way but let's try that guys